Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in today's video tutorial, we're going to be going over a particle system that I will be giving away for free on the channel here. You'll find all the links in the download in the description below. So let's roll the intro and let's get right into it. When we download the particle system and import it into our project, you can see that we have a whole bunch of different particle systems. Circle, diamond, line, point, and rectangle. These just refer to the mask or the emitter that's going to be used. We have a main particle system that we'll be using in order to find these particles, but let's take a look at that down the road. If we load up a room here, this is an empty room, and you can see that if we just take one of our particle systems, actually let's take a couple, and we put them in our room and we hit F5, we should automatically have some particles running in our room. Now, if we wanted to change this circular particle to be something like a fire, we can just click on variables, and this will change any of the variables for this particular object here. So you can see that we have name, depth, additive. There's a whole bunch of different variables in here. But let's quickly go through and try and create a fire. So you can see with a little bit of changes in our variables, we created something that looks like this. And I mean, that's not a bad fire. It's a good start. We could obviously edit some more information here to get something a little bit better, but I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is take a look at the different things that we can do here. So you can see that we have a circle, we have a diamond, we also have a rectangle, we have point and line. So what these are referring to is you can see the little white outline here. So this is gonna be the minner that we are gonna be using. For instance, if I came in here and I added an asset layer, drag it below, and let me drag in one of my sprites. I have this tree that I grabbed. I'm going to scale it by four. And if I wanted some leaves to fall down, well, let me actually move some of these particle systems out of the way. If I wanted leaves to fall down, I could grab whatever particle system I feel is going to fit within this tree. So for instance, I'll be using this diamond here, and I can just scale it up. The nice thing about this is when we scale it, it's gonna take the uh, left, right, top, and bottom, and it's gonna make it that scale. So we don't have to worry about editing anything in code. So if I wanted to make the, some leaves, I'll just do this very quickly. All I'm gonna do is say that the leaves have no alpha N, they have no alpha. They have very little alpha start. We'll change the colors because we're gonna be using a sprite to full white. We'll copy and paste them in. And let's change the direction so they can only fall from the bottom. So we'll do 260 and 280. Won't worry about any wiggle direction. Let's change our shape to a sprite and then come all the way down here and change the sprite to our leaf. And the final thing we want to do is the particle count. I want to say uh, every one in five chances to spawn this particular particle. Now, if I hit F5, what's going to happen is these are going to be all already falling from our tree. So you can see that we have some nice sprites happening. Now, what happens if I wanted to have it fall behind the tree? Well, we have our depth system in here, so I can see that my assets are in depth 100, instances are depth zero, so all I have to do is change this to a higher depth than my tree. So let's change it to 101, and when I hit F5, my leaves are gonna be falling behind the tree. So you can see we have some leaves happening there. All right, so now we have some sprite particles, we also have a fire. What if I wanted to control something when I press a button. So pretend this is a button and we want to have this particle system that is gonna sit right above it. We wanna have this particle system trigger whenever we click this button. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to variables here and I'm gonna give this particular particle system a name. I'll just call it PS underscore button. I'm just gonna make sure I copy that and I'm gonna change how many pixels get created, or sorry, how many particles get created just so we can see when we trigger it. Final thing I need to do is I need to tell it not to stream the particles because we're going to be using a burst. So if I open up this particular object and I say edit objects, so you can see that we have a left press and we have no code in there. What I need to do is I need to find this particular particle system that's sitting above my button. Well, remember we gave it a name, so we could just store that in an instance. We could say instance equals PS underscore find and then we give it the instance name. And this is a script that comes with the plugin. So this script will go and it will find all of the objects for the particle system, then test the name based on what we gave. If it finds it, it will return the correct instance. Otherwise, it will return no one. 
So with this little bit of information, what we could do is we could check to see if instance does not equal no one. So that means that we found our particle system that we're looking for. But then we could say with that particular particle system, all we want to do is burst. So now if I hit F5, you can see that we will have our leaves happening. We'll have our fire. And when I click this button, we have our burst particles. Okay, so the final thing that we want to do in this little example here, and I'm going to drag in this guy here. So this guy, he's a pretty simple object. If we look at the object itself and we go to edit sprite, you can see that we have two frames. We have our normal frame and then a shot frame. So our shot frame is on frame one. So anytime that our frame equals one, I'm using a Boolean just to shoot only once and we want to trigger a shot. Now let's say we go in and we copy this fire one because that's already set up. I'm just gonna put it close to my player here and I'm gonna go in and go into variables and give it a name. We'll just call it PS shoot or PS shot, sorry. We'll go all the way down and let's uncheck stream particles. Now, whenever we want to shoot this particular um, character here, in here, we can just look for that particular instance like we did before, and then we can tell it to do everything. So first, let's make sure we grab that instance using PS Find, and let's check to make sure the instance is not equal no one, meaning that we actually found our, our particle system. Now, for this particular instance, this character, he's going to be moving around with our mouse. So there's a begin step here and our X and Y position get updated with our mouse. So he will follow us around the screen. So what we need to do with this particular instance is we can say instance dot update and we want to update the position based on the X position and Y position of our character. Remember, we are in the character code. So we're going to move the particle system to our current X and current Y position. And then all we need to do is tell it to burst. So if I hit F5, we should see the guy moving around with our mouse. And we, we are actually creating one particle here, but you can see that it is updating correctly. So if I go back to my room and I'm like, oh man, that didn't really work out. I can just go to my particle systems, go to variables, and I can make the changes here. So if I go to particle count, let's change this to say 64. And now whenever my guy gets to the frame animation of one, you can see that we have a lot better particles here. Anyway, so that is just a few examples that you can do with this particle system. You can do things like rain or snow. You can do full screen effects. You'll find all the links to download the particle system in the description below. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoy the plugin. A special shout out to the following in no particular order. Victor, Andrea, Ian, Darth Wolf, Robert, Ashby, Bill, Edward, Paul, and Casper. Please help the channel grow by sharing and liking the videos. Don't forget to join our Discord channel and all the links can be found in the description below. Thanks again.